That looks like whiskey, but it it's is. apple juice. No, it's not. It's whiskey. No, it's not funny. Don't ever say that. <laughs> don't ever say that. It's apple juice. It's apple. I don't drink. What's up, guys? I'm Sweetstar101. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Today, I'm going to be joined by my lovely wife, AP. Hello, my name is Aubrey. A-U-B to the R to the I to the E. Happy late Easter. Y'all need Jesus. Let's talk about the Easter story. Uh -oh. So as you know, the last episode, I don't know if it even worked, but we got the Good Friday message. Today, we're going to get the Easter message. So on Good Friday, Jesus was crucified. He was beat. He was spat on. He was, oh, Lord Jesus. He carried his cross, a 300-pound cross. He carried up a hill. He did all these things. He got crucified. The sky went dark. Three days later, on a Sunday, on Easter Sunday, oh, Sunday Easter board, amen, praise the Jesus. The women went on down to the tomb, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of Jesus. And the women went on down there with the perfumes, because when somebody dies, you, um, back in them days, you put perfume on them and spices and all these things. So they went on down there to the tomb, and I forgot to say, but when Jesus was buried, they put a big old stone boulder in front of the tomb entrance. And, you know, they had the guards at the tomb or whatever. Anyway, the women went on down to the tomb, and behold, the stone was no longer there. It had rolled away. Mm, praise you, Jesus. Mm, that's a good message right there. The stone had rolled away. An angel had appeared, and he said, I don't know what you're looking for. He ain't here. He's not here, for he has risen. And you're looking in the wrong place. He told you where he was going to be, and it wasn't going to be here. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. And that's the Easter story. Yeah, and this video is probably going to be posted like a month after Easter. So. I know. <laughs> so it's going to be confusing. But still. <laughs> I need a, we, need a, we need to set this as a higher priority because they're, they're obviously not doing it. Hmm. They're going to die because they're going to be hungry. Yep. Oh, look, somebody's using them. the mess hall. They're using the mess hall. That's good. Yay. All right, what do we got here to research? So what's your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Like sweet candy, not chocolate, but candy. What's yours? What's yours? I like everything except like Sour Patch Kids. I don't like Sour Patch Kids. I like pretty much everything. I just don't like Sour Patch Kids. I like gummy bears. And I don't like I don't like Sour Skittles. Those are too sour. I don't like Sour Skittles. I don't like Sour Patch Kids. I just don't like sour, I guess. But I just, I don't know. I like pretty much every candy. I love candy. Mm -hmm. I like these sweet tarts. I like gummies. I like the sweet tart ropes. I just like sweet tarts. And then I like, my voice is going out. He is gonna get Um... My favorite chocolate. I like Three Musketeers. I like Hershey's. I love Hershey's. I love Hershey's chocolate. Just plain milk chocolate. And I like Kit Kats. And Twix are okay. I don't like Snickers anymore. I don't like Butterfingers. I really don't like Reese Cup. I think that's because of you. What do you mean? I used to like, I used to love Snickers. And then I just trained myself. I can't eat none of that type <laughs> of stuff. Oh, because cause I'm allergic? Yeah. I don't like Snickers, though. It's grainy. It just oh, it makes me... Nothing worse when you eat something and, like, pieces are still left over. That makes sense once you swallow. I don't think you know what I'm saying. I hate that. Anything with nuts or, like, spaghetti. You eat spaghetti. The meat is grainy. I can't explain it. I don't like that. It just mm -hmm. disgusts me on a daily basis. Okay. So, down here, they're going to have these cold generators producing power for these algae distiller for also these jumbo batteries which will also provide oxygen and then also the deodorizer which will also power this liquid pump which will pump all this uh contaminated uh this polluted water all the way up to the water civvy which will pump clean water into our schmuck area here sounds good we're kind of having polluted oxygen inside the inside this area which is which is not good what are you saying? Because these people are not working. Because they're lazy. They got comfortable. Come on, guys. We're almost there. We're literally almost there. We're so close to finishing all this. It's taking them 60 days just to do this crap. I don't actually know how long, but it's just taking them a long freaking time. I don't know what else they could be doing. Sorry, husband. We're good, baby. I want to know how we can, um, <clears throat> I want to know how we can, like, farm f these fish. 
I want to know how we can do that. I need to start getting rid of the algae terrariums. The algae terrariums, like slowly. We're going to be replacing all the algae terrariums back with the oxygen. Uh, what's it called? The other things. For one, they produce more oxygen. Secondly, they don't produce polluted oxygen. Really? Yeah, because these uh these algae terrariums produce uh polluted oxygen. They get rid of what's funny is they get rid of uh carbon dioxide, but they get but they emit polluted uh oxygen, which is not what we want. Uh, eventually, we're gonna have to get rid of all this sweep down here. There's like a lot of stuff on the ground that we want to pick up and get rid of, because we mm -hmm. want our morale to be higher. Look at this TV. What is that thing? He's so pretty. It's great. He's ugly. That little boy ugly. You still have the same hair. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, we can stop it here. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Thanks for watching, rats.